Oh, Lucy, darling. Who is that? Gorgeous-looking man. He took your seat there. Him? Oh, he's just another steward. He works here. Oh, I bet all the girls are crazy about him, aren't they? What do you mean? Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, he's so fresh, too. Is he always that forward? Oh, yeah. Always. He's, he's a regular Don Juan with dress to make. Oh, I bet he is. Uh oh, here comes Mr. Don. Please run along. We don't want you to get suspicious. Sure. See you later. <laughs> Got it. Mm. Some popcorn. Oh, oh thanks. Great. Why didn't you turn that air conditioner off? I forgot. Oh, you forgot. Hey, hey, well, that's all right then. I mean, I thought it might have been something important. Robert, I missed going to the movies. Oh, that was obvious. I mean, I could see your eyes move out of your head of this on four successive occasions. Lost in space. It was a very nice play. Idiots. Idiots. Romantic, blithering idiots. Both of them. I mean, at least James Bond gets good-looking chicks to work. Uh, what do I rate? Andy Hardy and his first date. Oh, well, Riley. Robert, I resent that. You will not see a more beautiful chick than this lady right here, and this is not my first date. All is right. it, Laura? Well, is shut it? up. Just shut up. Did what you if, get it? Whatever. Did you get it? Of course I got it. No bloody thanks to you two. You got it? How did you get it with everything all messed up? I made it up as I went along. I had to. Okay. Is the formula in there? Of course it's in there, yeah. Voila. Hey, man, you're the best. That's great. You're great. You're really trying to tell you that. Okay. I know it. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, look, I can't be mad at you. Too. No. Really, I can't. You've done more than I expected already. I know. Well, now what are we doing? We grab a bottle of champagne and we go down in the hole and, and get celebrate. swashed. All right, with that. that. Ah, good year. Oops. I ah. don't believe it. What a night. A great night. A great and victorious night. A night that will live in the annals of history. A night that for all time will be dedicated to those three extraordinary individuals. Mickey, <laughs> Minnie, and especially you, Pluto. Well, it's a dog's life. All part of the job. You got it. Oh. Tiffany was really impressed. Tiffany, what do you mean? Shall you tell him or shall I? It might be cleaner coming from you, but I'll do it. Well, <laughs> what? what happened was, you see, I uh, was almost caught with my hand in Victor's top pocket. However, at the last second, I switched gears and um, got rather friendly with Tiffany. Oh, you devil. <laughs> How did she take to it, huh? He melted her heart. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't think she disliked it at all. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with you two? What about the plan we worked out? Nobody liked our seating arrangement. Biggest. Yeah, that's right. Come on, that's behind us. We got everything now. Let's drink uh, a toast to the island. The island. island. <laughs> Wherever it is. Oh, Don, it was a marvelous success. Oh. Mm. That was so sweet of you to include the crew. Well, they've been very good to us. I think they deserved a lovely evening. Except maybe for that Thor character. Oh, Don, don't tell me you're still worried about him. Ah, uh, a little, but you're right. We'll be rid of him soon enough. Oh, Tiffany. What? God. My wallet. It's gone. Oh, maybe you just dropped it, Don. No, I didn't take this jacket off once in the evening. While we were having the table. Oh, honey, one. how could they have done that? I was sitting right next to you the entire Yes, but you keep on forgetting who was on the other side of me. Back some in. How long has it been now? It's been a little too long, Leslie. I left a very specific message that it was urgent that he call us, and if he has any brains at all, he'll do that. Uh, well, he couldn't fly here that fast, no well, way. Maybe it could be, you know, a representative or something. Yes? Bobby. Oh, hi. Hi. Huh? I hope it's not too late. No, of course not. No, come in, please. Something wrong, huh? Well, that's what we came to find out. Oh, what you mean about Luke? <clears throat> Look, I know that you two don't think too much of him, but he's my brother, and I love him, and I'm worried about him. And if he's in trouble, I really got to know about it. So 
I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you have any information at all, I would really appreciate it if you would tell me. Bobby, there's nothing really very definite at this point. We're sort of waiting to hear more. Then you know something. <sighs> well, I can leave. No, no, stay. Fred, please. I'm as much part of this as you are. I would think so. Yes, please, come in and look, sit down. Uh, everything we know right now is sketchy, to say the least. It's conjecture on our parts. But anything at all is better than being left in the dark. You know Robert Scorpio? Of course. The disco king. So Robert Scorpio is also a special agent for a very powerful organization in Washington. Called the World, World Security Bureau. You mean a spy? Well, a spy or a secret agent, we don't exactly know. All we know is that he is part of what they refer to as a covert operation. Through Lee Baldwin, we were contacted by a man who is very high up in that organization by the name of Ted Ballantyne. That's what we're waiting to hear from right now, maybe with some more answers. About Luke and Laura? About where they are? We certainly hope so. Tonight, Georgia gave us some information, which I think pretty well concludes in our part, that Luke and Laura and Scorpio are on the Cassidine yacht. That's pretty much all the information we have. I may be able to help her. I have an uncle who is a pro at cracking government secrets. Reporter? No, he's a senator from New York. Martin Drake is your uncle? Yeah. I should give him a call, see what he can do. He's still rather tight with the Washington scene. Well, we would appreciate any help, Noah. Yeah, well, I'm sure, I'm sure he's heard something about this, the World Security Bureau. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe this. Spies, government men, secret agents. Poor Laura. Poor Luke. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel, believe me, I do. But you realize that we have to be strong. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And I have faith that everything's going to work out fine in the end. Mm -hmm. Positive thinking. Right. Keep your fingers crossed. That could be the call. Hello? Dr. Weber? Yes, this is Dr. Weber. This is Ted Ballantyne in uh, Washington. You said it was urgent. I think that remains to be seen. Oh? Uh, what does that mean? Mr. Ballantyne, we know who you are. Who you work for, and we know that Robert Scorpio is an agent. Now, unless you give me some answers, and right now, we are very seriously thinking of giving this information to the press. Uh, now, just wait just a second. Yeah, no, we're tired of waiting. I'd like some straight answers from you and nothing else. You still there? Yes. Well, I'm waiting for the answers. You said you know who I work for. The World Security Bureau, Scorpio is agent CK-8. Would you like me to continue? No, no, that, uh, that won't be necessary. Your information is correct. What I told you yesterday was also true. We have no word about your daughter or about our agent. In other words, they're missing. Only temporarily, I assure you. Look, um, I'm on my way to the airport right now. I won't be back into my office until next Wednesday. We'll be waiting there for you, then. Well, that'll be fine. You call my secretary on Monday. She'll set up the appointment. No more runarounds. No more runarounds. You call my secretary. Well, you can count on that, Mr. Valentine. Goodbye, sir. What, 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 what? He's ready to talk. He had to leave town. He's on his way to the airport. But when can we see him? Next Wednesday. We have an appointment in Washington. <laughs> 